Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now, today's episode, we have up to $600 up for grabs, compliments of Associated Bank with a combined checking and savings offer. So, typical fashion, we'll cover this offer, terms and conditions, requirements, eligibility, everything you need to know to make Associated Bank's money become your money. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as always, there will be a direct offer link down below. It's not a referral link. Simply get you where you need to go the fastest. There were two offer links to this, but I think the promo code will make it make more sense in a second. But basically, there was an offer link just for one checking account, and there's an offer link for the checking plus savings, and we'll cover the promo code that you use in a second. So I'm putting the offer link down below that covers both of them, and which promo code I tell you to use, which will make sense in a second, will get you the one that you're looking for. I think it just makes things more... Uh, makes things easier to follow even though Associated Bank kind of made it confusing. So with that, let's take a look at the offer itself. Now again, I've done this one in the past. I mean, it was much different when I did it, but did it in the past. Now they do not have happy people, but you know, because they've got the trees and they're outside. Who would be happy if they're outside? I mean, even if there's $400, $600. But anyways, let's get to it here. What do we need to do? Well, again, this is a stackable bonus, so we'll take this in two parts. So first of all is your checking apart, checking part. So that could match you up to $400. So you need to open a new checking account, have a direct deposit of $500 within 90 days of opening that account. In addition to that, you have to have the below daily balance in there from days 31 to 90. So be be sure to, you know, pay attention for that counting, right? It's not from the day you deposit the money. It's from the 31st day of having that account open through the 90th day. So technically, it'd be like 121 days if you posted that money, you know, day one. So just keep that in mind. But $1,000 will get you $200, $5,000 will get you $300, and $10,000 will get you $400. Now, in addition to that, you could also, you could do these combined or one or the other, uh, but you could open a new savings account as well. That'll net you $200 if you deposit $25,000 for 90 days. Now, yeah, this is going to be valid through April 30th of this year. Promo code. So if you want, if you use the link below and you want both of them, then I understand you use the 1400. Um, that will be for both counts. That's your code. If you just want the checking account, then it's $1,300. I, there, I didn't see a promo code for the savings account only, but honestly, the savings just doing the savings account by itself doesn't really make a whole lot of sense given the uh, the high capital requirement and the low payout. So those are your requirements. Now, again, overall, I think combined, if you look at this thing on the aggregate of $600, it could potentially make sense, um, honestly. You know, I, I think the savings account, we'd like to see it a little bit higher, but the lockup period's not too bad. So really just, you're going to do the opportunity cost and see what you have going on. But overall, just, just remember that, you know, again, the, well, I'll cover data points in a second here, um, but I did do this one. So we'll also talk, I did it two years ago. So we'll talk about that as well. But again, requirements, pretty simple. I mean, you know, again, I don't think it makes sense to do the savings by itself. You really have to do them combined. And then on the aggregate, yeah, potentially, I could make sense. So um, with that, again, let's take a look at the eligibility now, if you are interested. So locations, unfortunately, this is not a nationwide offer, but they do have a decent kind of Midwestern footprint going. So those are your states. Now you can cannot have had an account within the last 12 months and you can't have received a bonus payout in the last 24 months, uh, which is kind of annoying. That's how they got me. It's been a year since I've had an account, but I won't technically be eligible until I think June to do this one again. So, you know, I would have, I probably would have taken a shot at this one if I was eligible. So just keep that in mind as well. Of course, you know, with all these, I mean, if you find a branch and you go into it, I'm sure you could probably open this one up. Uh, again, you have the promo codes, you know, there's usually no problems doing that. So um, with that, let's now move to the fees and account closure here. And this is kind of how they, it, why it takes so long to churn this one um, because the fees, well, first we'll start with fees. So associated checking or associated access checking, that is the account you want. That's the easiest one. There's a $4 monthly fee, but if you enroll in e-statements, you're good to go, and that fee is waived. So really, fee-free, honestly. Savings account, I didn't see any fees there. Now, you do need to keep the account open for 12 months. I didn't see any rule that said, hey, if you close it early, they will um, you know, charge you. There's no early termination fee, but you do need to keep it open 12 months is what they say, or risk of having it clawed back. So I think when I did this, 
you know, they did pay on time. It was There was no savings component when I did this, but when I did it, the checking, they did pay on time. I think at the time I zeroed it out and just left it over there, then they kind of auto-closed it. Uh, if you wanted to do it the right way, then yeah, you'd leave a buck over there that ended up phoning in, you know, after your 12-month mark to shut it down. But you can see there, that's why it almost becomes like a two and a half to three year churn basically because of that one year uh, rule to keep the account open. But overall, I didn't have any problems. I think my account got auto-closed. So I guess I probably don't even know the exact date that it closed on. So again, this is a newer section that I'm adding, which is going to be data points. So again, my data point, not super relevant because it was almost two and a half years ago, give or take. Um, but again, they did pay me out on time. There was no savings component. Now, going through the comments from the good doc that I will link their post down below, um, some trends that I'm seeing, you know, at least there are some folks who are saying this one is particularly check sensitive. I wouldn't necessarily let that stop me. I, I've never let that stop me. I still apply. The only thing I think to keep in mind with that is that there's also reportedly $1,200 of credit card funding, which is awesome. And actually, you know, if you tie this in with a new credit card, you know, to help hit a sign up bonus, then that could definitely make this one worth doing as well. Another added bonus. However, if you feel that, you know, you've opened a ton of accounts and checks is, a, is an issue for you, like it is for me, then you might not want to fund the full, you might not want to fool around with the, with the initial funding, right? Just fund the minimum amount. And the reason being is I've said it before, but sometimes they open the account, then later they come and shut it down. And, you know, if they're nice about it, they'll simply refund your money. But if not, then you get stuck in the process where they actually have to mail you out a check, which might not be a problem for you, depending on how you value $1,200. Eventually, you'll get it, and you can always fall back on a credit card chargeback, which I've had to do in the past before, um, you know, and you'll still have gotten your credit card funding and your points. So that could be an option as well. But if you don't want to potentially risk that, then maybe don't do don't fund the whole amount um, up front. But again, I was going to try this one even with my checks wrap sheet the way it is. So I wouldn't ever let this part be a deterrent, but again, I am trying to add more context and data points to these for those who are interested. And obviously if you're not, you can just you know, skip past it with a chapter stool. Now, I really couldn't find anything. Um, I went back quite a ways for like confirmed direct deposits. I've seen I've seen folks say that Ally and maybe Schwab used to work, but Associated has since tightened the reins on that, and it was harder to spoof. Again, when I did it, I did a real direct deposit, so I can't confirm that. I couldn't really find yeah, I couldn't really find anyone confirming what what had worked for them. Uh, so you know, I think your best bet usually is to try a business account if anything, or brokerage account. But again, I couldn't find anything solid. You know, I don't like to go back too far. I really only like to go back in comments maybe like six months at the latest to like the last time they ran this because after a while you just end up at, you know, diminishing value in those comments. So those are your crowdsource data points with an asterisk as always. Now let's bring this one home with a summary slide. So here you have it again. Associated Bank is the target. You want the access checking and or the savings account. They can pay out up to $600. Those are your locations. Kind Midwest focus requirements that direct deposit of 500 deposit the following within 90 days and then have it on you know on deposit from days 31 to 90 we've we'll, got them right there deposit 25k for 90 days in the savings if you so choose the fees are easily avoidable and you do need to keep the account open for 12 months and so there you have it that is everything you need to know about associated bank again i've done it in the past i didn't have any issues then but i was three years younger at the time and three years lighter of a checks rap sheet but if this one isn't for you you're too far gone in the checks land then of course check out profitablecontent.com this this is the channel's blog where we post all the latest news stories as well as credit card and bank bonuses. I'm sure we have something over there that will make your bonus hunting wallet happy. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching and talk to you very soon in the next one.